A shark lab vital to both research and the safety of millions who use our, shore, our shoreline and coast now desperately looking for help to stay open. The Cal State Long Beach lab now on the brink of closing due to state funding cuts. Eyewitness News reporter Leon Suter here live with a story that you're only going to see here on ABC 7. Yeah, you guys, there is no other lab like this in the country. And in fact, the shark lab is only one of a few in the world, but it will soon be closing its doors if it can't find funding. The desperate call for help coming as it releases another first of his kind study on white sharks. They're the predators of the deep off our SoCal shore and for the last 10 years the world renowned shark lab at Cal State Long Beach has been tagging and tracking white sharks 300 so far but their groundbreaking work is in jeopardy as it's just weeks away from shutting down due to cuts in state funding. If I don't have more funding by January I'm going to have to lay off the rest of my staff and I'll have to pull the equipment out because I won't have anybody to support it. Chris Lowe, director of the Shark Lab since 1998, is desperate for help and says their research impacts everyone who enjoys the ocean. Their looming closure means the lab's early warning system that alerts lifeguards when juvenile white sharks are close to certain beaches will soon go silent. This funding is really critical to enable us to keep doing what we're doing, advise the public, help keep people and sharks safe. The plea for help coming as the Shark Lab releases a new first-of-its-kind study showing key habitat shifts as sharks grow. We now know when they start to act like teenagers. So around age six is when they leave the nurseries and they start venturing offshore, whether it's going to the offshore islands, going up to Monterey, or even going all the way to Hawaii. Leaving the packed nurseries of baby white sharks dotting our coast and moving into deeper, colder waters. The number of white sharks off California has been increasing significantly over the years thanks to conservation and plenty of stingrays, their favorite food. After a decade of research, the Shark Lab team is building a detailed understanding of the shark's behavior, which is vital to their safety and ours. We share the beach with these animals, so their nurseries are our playground. So because we're sharing those areas, it's those larger juveniles, the ones up around nine feet long, are the ones that we have to be most careful around because they are trying to catch marine mammals. And the Shark Lab truly is desperate for some big donors and small. They've launched a Giving Tuesday campaign, which is December 3rd, but you can donate anytime. You can find a link on our website, abc7.com. And again, you guys, come January, if they don't have the funding, they are going to have to stop their groundbreaking research, which really would be a loss for the entire community. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.